Today, I'm going to be reading you a Shabbat book. It's a favorite in A1, and it's called Peanut Butter and Jelly for Shabbat. That's the title of the book. The author is Dina Rosenfeld. She wrote the words, and the illustrator is Norman Nodell. He drew the pictures. Yassi opened his eyes one cold winter day, then said Modani and washed right away. This Friday is special, thought Yassi, because there's a reason, but he just forgot what it was. Then father walked in and called, hey, sleepyheads, it's time to get up, jump out of your beds. Your mother's been gone for three days and we've missed her. Today she comes home with your new baby sister. I'll pick up your grandmother. She'll help us too. Since Shabbat starts early, there's so much to do. Stay with your grandfather. I'll be back soon. Please polish your shoes and clean up your room. So the boys gave tzedakah. They prayed and they ate. They wiped off the table and each washed his plate. They cleaned up their room gave their shoes a good shine, and for mother they colored a welcome home sign. Hey, Label asked Elsie, what's taking so long? When are they coming? I hope nothing's wrong. Look outside, pointed Label. The cars are so slow. The road must be icy. It's starting to snow. Label and Yassi could hear the wind blow as their yard disappeared under layers of snow. With cold noses pressed to the glass, they sat there, watching the snowflakes whiz through the air. Their eyes opened wide, they smiled in delight, and their breath made the window all frosty and white. Let's go out, Label said. It's sticking just right, and I'm in the mood for a big snowball fight. Yes, he smiled and then frowned with a shake of his head. But Label, we have work to do here instead. It seems everybody is coming home late. Who will make food for Shabbat? We simply can't wait. Well, we're in trouble, said Label, if we touch a knife and we never, never made Shabbat ourselves in our life. If we turn on the oven, I know we'll regret it. Cooking's too hard, so I say, let's forget it. We can't give up now, was his brother's reply. We'll only succeed if we're willing to try. They sat for a minute, they sat there for two, until Yassi came up with one thing he could do. I can't cook fish, that may be true, but I always make tuna, and that's a fish too. I can touch a knife, Label said, that I know. I can use a peeler for cucumbers, though. So the two boys washed up with soap in the sink, and both started working before you could blink. Soup's a problem, said Yassi, so this afternoon I'll prepare something else we can eat with a spoon. He took down the bowls with the fancy gold rim and filled them with applesauce, up to the brim. Now for the main course, here's what I suggest, called Label to Yassi, the food I love best. It's better than chicken or turkey or meat. Peanut butter and jelly, so sticky and sweet. To spread on some crackers, a great Shabbat treat. Let's make a bunch for everybody to eat. Soon the meal was ready, but Yassi cried, Label, we haven't got challah on our Shabbat table. Don't worry, said Label to Yassi. Don't cry. We'll only succeed if we're willing to try. Waving two frozen bagels over his head, Label grinned, don't you see? We'll use bagels instead. Now for Shabbat dessert, Yassi said, there's no cake. Isn't there anything else we can make? We don't need it, said Label. We made so much stuff. Just look at the table. I think that's enough. Wait a minute, said Yassi. Won't this do the trick? And he pulled from his pocket a red candy stick. He broke it in bits, which he put on a plate, and Label said, Yassi, that candy looks great. Sometimes you're really a pretty smart guy, but you'll only succeed if you're willing to try. Just then came a knock and a key in the lock. In walked the family, and oh, what a shock. Grandma's right hand held a big covered dish that she filled with her homemade gefilte fish. Her left hand held platters of kugel and cake and fresh challah as only a grandma can bake. 
Father carried in matzo ball soup, piping hot, and roast chicken and meat in a huge steaming pot. Mother carried in a bundle. Mother carried a bundle in her arms too, their own baby sister, so tiny and new. We knew, said the boys, there'd be no time to cook, so we made the whole Shabbat ourselves. Come and look. It was fun, Label said, as easy as pie. We succeeded because we were willing to try. Then Father took pictures of Yessi and Label standing right next to their own Shabbat table. That night they ate tuna and a filter fish, then applesauce and soup for the second dish. Next came cucumbers, kugel, roast chicken, and meat, with peanut butter and jelly, so sticky and sweet. For dessert, there was cake and the red candy stick, which they finished right down to the very last lick. They looked at the baby and touched her soft skin. They patted her fingers and tickled her chin. Yes, he said she's the best baby I've ever seen. Pretty cute to label, for a girl, I mean. When she's bigger, we'll teach her, Yassi and I, that you'll only succeed if you're willing to try. I hope you enjoyed that Shabbat book. Shabbat Shalom, everybody.